Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and this is my tech corner of the internet. Today, I want to do a quick video showing how easy it is to create NFC tags and use them if you are already using Homebox Open Source Inventory Manager, whether you're a small business or a personal user. It's a really great software that can really help you to get organized. It's totally open source and it's self-hostable as well. So today I'm going to be sticking an NFC tag on this box in my tech cabinet called Box007. And let's say I want to put an NF create NFC tag so I can just touch my phone and that'll jump me to the URL in Homebox and I can see exactly what's in the box and where it's supposed to be kept. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the page for this asset in Homebox. Remember in Homebox you have unique URLs for assets, locations and labels, which is terrific. The next thing you're going to want to do is copy the current URL uh, in Chrome or whatever you're browsing with onto your clipboard. In Chrome, it's uh, you to click on this little uh, three buttons here, then do share and then copy URL. But if you're using a different device, you can do whatever uh, you do in order to copy the URL. And then we'll go into our NFC writing app. So the next thing you're going to need is something to write the NFC tags with. There's a few different NFC tools on the market. The one that I use is NFC tools and I just upgraded to pro to take advantage of a few extra functionalities, but you can write basic uh, URLs even on the free edition. So go into the write tag and we're just gonna create a very simple record that's gonna jump us to the URL. So the one we want is the second one, add a URL record. It can also do a URI. And all we have to do of course here is paste the URL. And then just want to navigate here. By default, you're going to get the start of the uh, the HTTP, which we don't want because uh, that's uh, appended in the first area. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to switch over my protocol to HTTP from HTTPS. And of course, you just can adjust your parameters according to uh, where your home box is installed. And that's all you have to do. Click on OK. And the final step is I'm holding the NFC tag in my hand. And you want to click on write. It's only 60 bytes of information. And this is always the tricky part. I'm struggling at the moment, I think, because my phone's in a big protective case. There we go. It took a little bit of uh, fiddling on the back of my phone. I still need to figure out where the actual uh, radio is. And that's it. We've written it now. There's one more step that I think it might be good to do. Um, there's always a concern of sort of accidental deletion or someone editing your NFC tags, probably far less likely. But if you want to avert that possibility, jump over into the other page and then you have a, a option here called lock tag. And as it says, this is a once only process. You're not going to be able to undo this. So you might want to, you might want to test the NFC tag just to make sure you've written the right URL. And needless to say, if the URL changes in Homebox, this is also not going to work. So just have a think about whether this is something you want to do for the relatively modest security risk. But if you want to do that anyway, go ahead and click lock tag. And then I'm just going to approach the NFC tag. And now my tag is locked. And if I try to read the tag, I'll be able to read the tag, but it won't allow me to rewrite it. Now, here's what's going to happen if I simulate approaching the NFC tag. I'm holding the sticker we just created it in my hand and I'm just going to hold it up to the phone. There we go. The NFC tag was read and it's jumped me straight to the Homebox page for Box 007. And again, this can be useful if you want to use NFC tags as part of your system. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and until the next video.